Um, uh, the main important thing, ladies and gentlemen, when we're looking into condensing, the first thing that I'd recommend that you guys go ahead and do is to rewrite the numbers in front as your powers. So as the power rule that I explained, you guys can take each one of those terms and you can rewrite them as your power. So therefore I have log base 8 of 2 to the 6th plus log base 8 of x squared plus log base 8 of y squared. Does everybody see that? So you take each of these numbers and you rewrite them as the power of each logarithm that um, the term each logarithm. Now, here I have 2 to the 6th power. Well, that's 2 multiplied by itself 6 times. And if you go and use your calculator or just multiply that out, you would see that is going to be 64. Now, the other thing is, if you remember last class period, we practice identifying what exactly does logarithm say and do they mean. So if you guys remember, a logarithm says this is log base 8 of 64. What that is really saying is 8 raised to what power gives you 64? 2. Then, if you remember the rules of logarithms, we said when you have the log base 8 of something plus log base 8 of another term, when you're adding them, we can rewrite them as one single logarithm by rewriting them as their product. Now, I can't combine these two because the rules of logarithms only said when you had a logarithm plus a logarithm, could you combine them as the product? This is just the number 2 plus log of this. So I can't combine these as like rewriting them as multiplication. That only worked because I had the log of the same bases. I rewrote them as a, as a product. So therefore, my final answer is 2 plus log base 8 of x squared times y squared. 